Please be seated. The record will show the presence of the jury, the defendant, and all counsel. Mr. Nurmi, you may continue with cross-examination. Detective, in your prior testimony here, you, uh, and, and even today, as a matter of fact, you told us that you did a forensic examination of this uh, laptop that was in the office or den area, correct? Yes, correct. And uh, that was the laptop that was, reg or the registered owner of this laptop was Deanna Reed, correct? Yes, that's the name that was on the software. I'm sorry, what was that? That's the name that was on the software who registered okay. it, yes. All right. And in terms of a forensic examination of a computer, um, without going into great detail, can you tell us kind of what you do, what that involves? Do you want from the beginning, or I don't know how much detail do you want? Well, yeah, from the beginning. I mean, you seize the computer, you make a mirror. Uh, we'll do it this way. You seize the computer, you make a mirror image of the hard drive, right? Yes. And one of the things you told Mr. Martinez is you go for the hard drive because that's where, the, that's where the data is, right? Yes. Okay. And once you make that mirror image of the hard drive, you can see its contents, activity, web browser history, things of that nature, correct? Correct. In most cases, and that happened in this case, correct? Yes. Okay. And when you did that forensic examination of this computer, this laptop, uh, and you were the one who seized it in the property, correct? Yes. Okay. Uh, and you took every assurance you could to make sure that you powered it down correctly, those kind of things, so you could preserve that data, I would expect? Yes, I did. Okay. And after you did this forensic examination, you wrote a report, correct? Correct. And that's about what we were ready to talk about at break. Um, I want to show you, if, if I may approach your honor, yes. what's been marked Exhibit 347. An officer, if you could take a look at that and tell us if you recognize that document. Yes, I do. And what is that document? That's my written report. Okay. Sir, if you could be so kind and, and go to the second page of that document. And I believe it's perhaps the second and third paragraph down uh, about your examination of that computer. Could you just read that? Uh, read that to yourself. Okay. Okay. Based on that, and kind of going back to the question we had before the break, is that your refresh your recollection regarding the activity you noticed on that computer? Right, it states that the last activity was at 1654 hours on 6 4 2008. Okay. Um, 1654 hours, could you translate that? 454 into p.m. 454. Right, p.m. Okay. All right. Now, in terms of Internet browsing. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the term cookie? Cookies. Uh, it's basically it's basically packages that they when you go to a website, it will send that information so that the next time you go to the website, it recognizes you as a user. Okay. But in terms of doing an analysis too, um, for lack of a better word, th these cookies leave a trail to where someone's been on the internet, don't they? It depends. Okay. They can? Yes. Okay. Uh, because in order to have that recognition, the computer has to have, you have to have been somewhere in order for that place to recognize you, that kind of thing, right? Yes. Is that what we're saying? Okay. So if someone has cookies on their computer that designate that they've gone to a certain place, then that kind of gives you a guide as to their internet history, correct? Uh, actually, their internet history, I will go based on where they actually went to, which is in the internet history. They'll tell you which websites they went to. Okay. But so, cookies can tell you the same thing if it's not in that immediate browser, right? Right. My preference would be to look at exactly where they went to based on the internet history. So the what? cookies would maybe be a secondary way of looking at it, 
But okay. my preference would be to look at exactly what they typed to, what they typed in the, in their search browser, and where they actually went to. I understand, but right. even though maybe it wouldn't be the preference, you can you know, cookies can help you kind of retrace where somebody's been. Right? There might be information okay. there. Yes. All right. A detective showing you what's been marked as Exhibit 419 regarding the analysis of this computer. One of the things that this exhibit shows us is the profile name. That's whom the software is registered to, correct? Yes. Okay. And this time here is... Um, about 4.08 in the morning, right? Yes. And this is kind of an internet history, is that correct? That's what it says, I don't yeah. know what it is. Okay. And so at 4.08 in the morning, we have the, a person on this computer looking at this YouTube drunk Daft Punk uh, video, correct? Yes. And we have somebody looking at this same, or a different video, but in the same YouTube uh, at 4.11 a.m., right? Yes. Okay. In Detective, we can also see we have someone watching another uh, YouTube video, this one called Daft Hands. You see that? Yes. And that's at June 4th at about 4.15 in the morning, correct? Yes. And in terms of the internet history of this laptop, we can see that at 4.24 in the morning, uh, there was more activity with YouTube, correct? Yes. And what this really means may be common sense, but what this really means is that someone was using that laptop between 4.08 and 4.20 something in the morning watching videos on YouTube. Is that correct? Well. You're assuming that they actually played the videos. I don't know if they did or not. Okay. I, I, I would say that someone accessed YouTube at that time, yes. Someone accessed it. Yes. We don't know for sure whether they played the video or not, but you yeah, can I see. Yeah, I would know. Okay. Uh, fair enough, but you can see signs that it was accessed, yes. correct? Yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. That's all I have, Yanni. Redirect. Sir, with regard to this harder, faster, stronger, um, had this involved women with their breast bared, would you have noted that? Yes. Would it, if it had involved women with their, the bottom portions of their bodies bared, would you have also noted that? Yes. My, if I may have the exhibit that you have in front of you? Sure. Sir, one of the things that you indicated to defense counsel was that Based on your examination, there was, the last activity was at 1654 hours, correct? Yes. And that's 454 p.m. on June 4th, correct? Correct. Sir, um, do you know how that activity got on there? I don't, I don't recall the exact activity, but that's the last time someone used. Or somebody attempted to get on this computer, right, yes. correct? So it could, it could be that one of the police officers or somebody else may have touched it, right? At uh, 4.54 p.m., on, I'm sorry. At 4.50 p.m., right. at that time, I'd, I'm not sure if they were there or not. I don't know. Well, the, somebody was there to access it on June 4th at 4.54 p.m., correct? Correct. And you don't know how that happened, right? No. So it could have been Mr. Alexander, correct? Yes. Could have been Ms. Arias. You just don't know who accessed it correct. at that time, correct? Correct. Correct. Uh, we do know that the police showed up sometime later, right? Yes. Do you know exactly what was being accessed on June 4th of 2008? Except. 
4 p.m.? I don't recall. But it was just being accessed. Correct? Yes. I don't have any other questions. I have one question from a juror. It looks like we have a second one. Any other questions? Council, please approach. Mr. Melendez, the jurors have some questions for you. Okay. Regarding all of the electronics seized, did you find any indication of pornography, naked women, or child photos on any of the items you examined? I did not find any of that on any of the items I examined uh, related to Mr. Alexander. Regarding Travis's camera, just for clarification, all pictures were not deleted, is that correct? That is correct. The pictures depicting Jody and Travis in sexual poses 
and the pictures before and after the killing were deleted, but there were pictures left on the camera, is that correct? That is correct. If so, do you know how many pictures were left? Uh, from recollection, I believe there were more than 90. Any other questions from the jury? Follow up, Mr. Martinez. Nothing, thank you. Mr. Nurmi? Nothing, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need to take about a 10 minute recess. So please go back to the jury room. We will call you back shortly. Please remember the admonition. Recess. Council, I will see you in chambers. <laughs>